Okay, so somebody on the uh, Line 6 Helix Worship Team user Facebook group uh, asked if there is a way to send a monitor mix signal into the aux input on the Helix and have it come out on headphones uh, but not send it to front of house. And I got to thinking about that. And um, yeah, there is a way to do it. So uh, this video is just going to walk through how that's done. So um, hardware-wise, um, what I have hooked up, I've got my guitar plugged into uh, the guitar input, and I have a uh, just a cable plugged into aux in, and this is just kind of to simulate, um, you know, your aux feed from the soundboard, right? I've got it in aux in. You could put it in XLR in, like if you had an XLR feed coming from the board. Um, those are really the only two that you could use. You could not use a return uh, for this. And I'll show you why in a minute. But this, um, this aux in cable, I just have running up to a laptop and I'm simulating that uh, as like the, you know, the, the monitor feed. And I've got a YouTube video pulled up on that computer to simulate that audio when I get there. And then I have a USB cable plugged in uh, and that comes up to the Apple camera connector kit um, so I have a charge cable and then the USB from the Helix into an iPad. So you do need an iPad to do this. And essentially what I'm doing is taking advantage of uh, the fact that Helix has reamp channels um, that it sends out over the USB even without path blocks in your, um, in your preset. And then it also has the ability to pass USB input channels 1 and 2 directly to outputs. So what I do is on the iPod, uh, I pull, I'm, I'm, you can use any app that can route USB. I'm using Audio Bus 2 just because I already have it. Uh, so if I open that up, this is basically a path. And I say, okay, for the input, I want to use System Audio. And I want to pick USB channel 8. And then for the output, I'm just going to send it to uh, system audio output, which will be USB channels one and two. So this will take in USB channel eight from the USB, the camera connector kit, and it will take channel eight and then just pass it, no effects or anything, just pass it directly out to USB one and two. So on the Helix, I can go into global settings. And right here, uh, the USB in one two destination tells the Helix when a signal comes in over the USB and it comes in on channels one and two to send it to this output directly. Just bypass all the path routing and just send it. So I've got it set at XLR. Um, in my setup here at the house, I've got a single XLR cable going to my uh, Tascam and then to the studio monitor. So that's why I've got it set to XLR so I can hear it. Uh, so set this to wherever you want to send the monitor mix. So if you're sending XLR to front of house, then set that on quarter inch. Uh, that way it doesn't get sent to front of house. And then this knob here, the USB in one, two trim, you can use to adjust the level. All right, so that's uh, page one. On page uh, two, page three, on page three, um, you'll see these reamp uh, reamp source USB 7, reamp source USB 8, and notice I have reamp source USB 8 set to aux. Uh, that means it'll take whatever's coming in on the aux signal, on the aux uh, 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 jack, and it will send it out of USB 8. Uh, now you could make this aux, variax, guitar, or mic. And that's what I meant earlier when I said if you had an XLR feed from your soundboard, you could plug it into the mic input on the back. Of course, that's he uh, floor units only. LT doesn't have that. Uh, I guess you could do it on the rack too, um, but I'm using the aux, so I'll leave that on aux, uh, and that's kind of it. Um, now for the headphones, notice it's set for multi. So if I'm sending XLR to front of house, and then I've got the whole monitor feed set up like this, configured to um, send a quarter inch, then if you want to hear that monitor in your in your headphones, and you want to hear your guitar in your headphones, set that as multi. If I set that to quarter inch, I'd hear only the monitor. If I set that to XLR, I'd hear only the XLR, you know, my, my guitar. Um, so I'm going to leave that on multi, although I'm not really using it. 
and I'm going to change this back to XLR since that's how I've got my system configured. So now that I have the USB uh, going to an Apple camera connector kit, I've got audio bus routing USB 8 back into the Helix through USB 1.2 and I've got USB 1.2 set to output to XLR which is connected to my studio monitors. Uh, I will go ahead and play the video. And I get audio. Now, if I change this to quarter inch, I get nothing, right? Because again, this is connected to my studio monitors. Uh, my guitar. Right? So I'm still getting the guitar audio. Now if I change this back to XLR, I can adjust the level with the trim. And then you can play your guitar at the same time. So again, it's passing through here. So if I, uh, for example, if I change this, or I lose it, right? So now there's no input. So if I change that back to USB 8. And this will run in the background too. So I use like Ensemble for charts. So you could have that playing in the back, you know, you could have that audio bus running in the background, processing your, uh, processing your monitor feed through the Helix, sending it out to your headphones. You can plug your headphones directly into the Helix. Now, the only thing about the AUX is it's a mono jack. It's just a, a, a TS jack. So you can't plug a stereo, uh, like an Aviom or a Behringer personal monitor mixer or something like that, that has a TRS stereo into the AUX input um, because it's, it's designed for a uh, quarter inch TS jack for like acoustic or something like that um, but if you have a mono mix coming from your soundboard and um, you want to plug your headphones directly in the helix and you know mix it yourself your guitar versus the mix coming from the uh, soundboard uh, there's a way you can do it I'm using an iPad I always have an iPad on stage anyway um, you know so if you have an iPad on stage you can run audio bus in the background use the Apple camera connector kit and uh, pass that aux directly, whatever's coming in, directly to your headphone jack through this. Uh, an iPhone work too, just any iOS device. I don't think a Android will work. At least I haven't found information online that shows how to do something similar that the camera connector kit lets you do with an iOS device. Uh, I guess if somebody has some information on that, post it in the comments. It might be helpful. All right.